Joe Biden, then the head of the Senate Judiciary. Who? Oh, Joe. Good old Joe Biden. He looks so young there. Good old Joe. Good old Joe Biden. Great committee. And following pressure from interest you know what? groups. Let's, you know what? Let's hear from Joe Biden. You want to hear from Joe Biden? We're going to hear, we're going to hear from Joe Biden. I have to, I know I shouldn't, but we're going to, we're going to listen to Joe Biden really quick. And I'm not necessarily going off the rails on this one. I planned for this. I prepared for this, but listen to Joe say a whole lot, but say absolutely nothing. One, do not count me as one of your detractors because I ask you tough questions. Number two, the issue of natural law may confound the people, to use Senator Simpson's phrase, but not a single legal scholar in America. And I hope you meet that test or you shouldn't be on the Supreme Court. You okay. must have a knowledge and insight to the Constitution that is better than the average lawyer. And I'm sure you do. That's why I'm sure you understand what I'm about to say. Not a single legal scholar in America fails to understand the significance of whether and if how one applies natural law. Judge Bork devoted a chapter in his book about how those people who want to apply natural law are bad, not bad in a moral sense, are wrong. There's an entire school of thought that you are fully familiar with. I'm not, I'm not failing to accept your answers yesterday. I just want to make sure. And the reason I'm letting this go is because he says a lot of words but doesn't say anything in this entire clip. He says a lot of words, but he doesn't say, but what he's really trying to do, he's trying to spin. He's trying to, to confuse and at the same time, insult the intelligence of this man that is more than qualified for the job. Let's continue. We're fully familiar with. I'm not, I'm not failing to accept your answers yesterday. I just want to make sure we all know what we're talking about here. That You and I know at least what we're talking about here. No, we don't. There's know not a about. single legal scholar. You said who does that, not you understand said that, that there's a fervent, bright, and aggressive school of thought that wishes to see natural law further inform the Constitution than it does now. What are you saying? Argued Joe? against by the positivist led by the, Judge Bork. Judge now, again, Bork. that may be lost on that all wrote, the people. That wrote one chapter. You in know, his book. and I know. You know and I know. What we're talking about. What we're talking about. But nobody now, else knows what we're talking all about. All I'm out to do in my second round, and others are, is to find out whether you, in fact, do apply natural law, and if you do, do, you, do how? Do you, how, how you, you answered that partially yesterday. I'm somewhat confused. I'll come back to it. Clearly. But let the record know for all the press to know. Clearly. Whether someone applies natural law is of phenomenal significance <laughs> and there's not a single legal scholar in america you can question joe what are you talking about who will not tell you that is not true what are you saying joe now you may apply it in, someone may apply it in a way like more oh. who leads him in a direction that is quote liberal liberal you may apply it in a way that leads you in a direction that's conservative you may so you might do it this or way you, or you may might do it that way like many argue not apply it at all or not apply it at all but it is a fundamental question that is going to be almost impossible for non-lawyers to grasp in an exchange but you know and i know you know and i know it is a big big deal and in conclusion <laughs> the only reason most of us asked you i asked you about natural law so, so this, is that is how this, you gained your reputation rightly or wrongly so so this is so this is uh this is joe biden this is this is the Joe Biden that we're uh, this guy that brought Anita Hill in front of Congress and uh, and tried to basically use her as a prop to ruin the reputation of Clarence Thomas.